Hi there, it's Melanie from Yarn Journeys, and this is my stage seven tour de fleece vlog. I thought I would take a moment to share how my shacked ladybug is working for me. I am a new spinner and this is my first spinning wheel and the shacked ladybug is often touted as one of the best uh, spinning wheels for a new spinner to get and I thought I would share my point of view. So um, before I actually go into the specifics of the wheel, I just thought I would share two things that may be specific to me. First is that I have an irrational attachment to the color red. Um, if it were up to me, I probably would wear uh, red clothes all the time. All the furniture in the house would be upholstered red. Um, and, you know, I would just be living in a world with red things, which is ridiculous. I recognize that, and with, which is why I wear uh, clothes of different colors <laughs> and I, you know, just mix in the red things here and there. But when I first saw a shacked ladybug, uh, I think I saw Jillian Moreno uh, spinning on it on a YouTube video, I thought, hmm, there's a red spinning wheel. Maybe that's the one I'll get. So that is something of which you should be aware. The second thing is that it's called the ladybug. And in fact, I believe it's right in here. There is a little uh, ladybug attached onto the wheel. And I had a great aunt who has long since passed away, who I remember with fondness and she always uh, wore ladybug pins on her clothes, like on her jacket lapel or on her shirt. Um, and so uh, whenever I see the ladybug pin, I always think of my great aunt Dorothy, and that brings uh, a little bit of a tender remembrance to working with my ladybug. So those things aside, I really am enjoying my new spinning wheel. Uh, as I said, the shaft ladybug is often mentioned as a good wheel for a beginner spinner. Now, why is that at least? First of all, it's um, uh, simple, relatively simple to use. The parts are uncomplicated. Um, and from what I understand, uh, it can do anything that you need it to do during the stages of beginning spinning and apparently it's supposed to be able to grow with you. So uh, one of the things I understand about it is that not only does it have a scotch tension drive system where you have a spring loaded thing thingamabobby here that goes around the bobbin, the brake band, as well as the drive band here around the whorl, you can also do a double drive band, which will go around the wheel and the bobbin. Now, I'm not yet employing those skills for which double drive would be helpful, but um, my understanding is that this is a wheel that can grow with me. Also, it's not huge. I am not ready yet to have a spinning wheel take over a room. While this isn't a travel wheel, it is something that I can tuck away into the corner of my living room or my work room, um, and it's relatively unobtrusive. It's sturdy when I treadle, it doesn't shake. Um, the, uh, the mechanisms, like I said, are very simple to operate. There's nothing complicated or fancy, and it has these handles both in the front and the sides that I can, you know, take it easily up and down the stairs or wherever I want it to go inside the house. Um, I did not look at any other spinning wheels 
physically. I only really have uh, worked with this one, but I did research online, for example, the Ashford Joy, um, which was less expensive as well as I th think the bottom of the line Kromsky and so forth. Um, I must admit that um, I found the red wheel somewhat bewitching, but, but that's because I'm me and I love the color red. Um, uh, that said, I am really happy with my purchase. I have been able to do all that I have wanted to do uh, with my ladybug. Um, it brings me a lot of joy in spinning. Um, and I would highly recommend it to anyone who is also shopping for a spinning wheel. Thanks so much, and I will see you tomorrow for my stage eight vlog. If you like uh, this video, please do hit the thumbs up button, and um, please do subscribe if you would like to make sure you don't miss any more of these vlogs.